Hello everyone and welcome to Moonride. Please forgive me for my long hiatus. I was actually traveling in the United States and I got sick as a dog. <laughs> I got sick and then I got sick again. I think this tells you a good deal about the United States. Let me tell you, it, it was tough to visit. It was really, really hard. I, I see why people are watching videos like these because <clears throat> It's really hard to be in America right now and see half of the people um, unable to listen to reason or any kind of love. It's very difficult. If you're going through that, um, just give yourself a break and understand that this is going to happen for a little while until it changes. I don't know when it's going to change. I hope sooner. But <clears throat> those people who are living in denial are, are eventually going to be forced to face it. Uh, in the meantime, be patient and do what you can. Do what you can for your own life, your own self, those people around you. And remember that part of the challenge is to keep acting in love. It is a challenge, and uh, we can all live up to that. Today I'm going to take a look and um, just see what's next on our political horizon. <clears throat> getting Mike Pompeo. Mike Pompeo is getting really angry. He keeps doing this funny gesture with his hand. I don't know what that means. There's a long line of cars. Like um, I can see headlights. It's like you're seeing a freeway in a sort of line. Spirit, what does this mean? Pompeius is pointing to some cities and I think they might be cities in Florida I'm seeing the um, Florida coastline um, and that big arc sort of where there's Florida and a couple of states and then there's Texas Something's gone wrong there. Something's gone wrong. And um, it seems that um, Pompeo's really upset about it. He's like frantic about it. Hmm. Um, people are um, sort of uh, shocked by something. I, I see like cars stopping and people getting out of the cars and I'm just looking shocked like oh my god uh, what's going on here it gets I have a feeling of like some problem at a chemical plant I'm seeing a guy like kind of turning a wheel. It's like he's he's um he's um you know turning a valve or something and he's made a mistake and he didn't realize it till it's too late and um something goes wrong. It's even like kind of surrounded by forests. It's in it's near a city, but there's also forests there. It's really captured the um, uh, the attention of the media and a lot of people. People are um, shocked about what happens. People are wearing masks. I, it's sort of like everything's in this moment become very real. Uh, for uh, Americans, uh, uh, the people who, who live in those places, it, it's no longer an abstract philosophy. It is uh, a, a real social problem that, um, you know, there are no, you know, the regulations are all being broken. And I don't know why this has to do with Mike Pompeo, but it, it seems to. 
He keeps pointing. He keeps trying to show me something. He's pointing. And it's almost like he's pointing to the source of this. Mm. Okay, Spirit. What else, what else do we need to know? Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders seems to be rising. Mm. Look, this is a big battle in a sense of within the Democratic Party, the question now is, are they gonna try to silence Bernie Sanders? Um, now I don't I don't know if you agree with Sanders or disagree, there might be other candidates you'd like, but the, the point of the matter is, is that Sanders is winning and uh, the control of the party is not, it's not gonna go easily to him. He looks like he's being successful. It looks like um, the um, party is paying attention to him, and they learned maybe they learned their lesson last time around that um, it's not going to be about the party bosses this time. It's a showdown, though. It's going to be a showdown. Sanders looks pretty good. I mean, he looks like he's rising. Tell us more about Sanders' spirit. What else can we need to know? Yeah, uh, he's like, Sanders is like turning his body towards the sun, like this, and the sun's reflecting on him. Um, I'm seeing a pyramid. Those are always positive things. They mean like a sort of completion and a sort of divine um, understanding and relationship to the world. I'm actually seeing Abraham Lincoln, and Abraham Lincoln is coming up and shaking his hand. Sanders has a difficult problem. He has got to choose a running mate. And he's really, really thinking about this very carefully. He's definitely considering Amy Klobuchar. He's not quite as fond as Buttigieg as a running mate. And he's pretty upset with Warren. I think he's pretty much discounted Warren. Amy Klobuchar seems to be slightly, slightly more likely, but the decision has not been made yet. The jury's still out. Do not be surprised if there's an attempted assassination of Bernie Sanders. That's what I'm seeing. It will be foiled. Uh, but um, there will be, an, as, as I am seeing, an attempted assassination. I, let's just say this. I see a person with a gun, and they're trying to shoot him. I don't know how far this goes. I don't see that Bernie dies. It could just be symbolic of those people who want to stop him. What's important about this is the soul of America. Whether you support Sanders or not, what is the meaning of this party and it choosing a person? They're not necessarily choosing the person that the people want. They're choosing the person that they believe will be best for themselves or who will win. I see Sanders doing well, though. I see him overcoming a lot of these things. Hmm. And there may be a rapprochement with Warren. They may uh, work out, work it out. It's not, it's not totally impossible. Look, I see Sanders winning. 
I see him um, getting the nomination. Um, I see him, he's, it's like somebody's put a medal, he's got a gold medal here, it's red, white, and blue, gold, and um, he's getting this. I, it, it might be that he's win winning the presidency, but certainly he's winning something. I think it really is too early to tell whether um, he's going to win the presidency. Um, <clears throat> please understand that there's a, uh, a danger if I were to accurately predict this. It might be that if I told you the winner, you'd stay home and you wouldn't work quite so hard, right? So I'm not sure Spirit wants me to know this or you, uh, all of us to know this. But I, I will say this, Sanders seems to be winning and gaining momentum. And he seems to be winning the battle at the party headquarters. <clears throat> One thing you might notice is the last election they wouldn't get behind Sanders was because he was too, pro too progressive. And now that we're faced with Trump, there is a new window for Sanders. <clears throat> the final message that I'm getting is we all have to work really, really hard. Uh, whoever you support, whatever you do, we have to we have to keep focusing, focusing, focusing on this. Um, doing our work. Don't be too attached to the outcomes because you know it might be that there was a reason for Trump. Maybe he brought us to the point where we're going to make some more significant changes. And don't misunderstand me and think I'm happy about Donald Trump. That is simply not the case. But <clears throat> it might be that there is a divine purpose to this, that these extremes are being shown to us for a reason. Um, <clears throat> so work towards this outcome. Don't be too attached to it because I could be wrong. Um, <clears throat> I, as I said, I'm not really certain what the outcome is. Uh, I just see success in terms of Sanders, but uh, I, I'm not going to go all the way here and say I know what's going to happen. The same time you do this, to keep yourself sane, do work with yourself, do work with others on a personal level. When you go to your next lifetime, what you're going to look back on is what did I do in this lifetime? Did I do the right thing? Did I make new friends? Did I show up for love? Did I uh, work on myself in a spiritual way? That, that's, that's something that you can always have. Politics are going to change, and they're always going to frustrate you. They will never meet your expectations totally. So do your best right now, but also keep time for yourself. That's totally separate. Notice how successful you are if it only means you made a new friend or you did a kind thing. And uh, if you are working in any kind of capacity in the Democratic Party um, or any kind of progressive, be kind to the other members of your party. This is not the time to fight. This is not the time to fight. You've got to work together. Uh, the people working as Democrats, uh, working towards progressive causes, are not the Republicans, right? These are different forces. And you might find that if you're arguing with somebody who's online pretending to be a Democrat. They may not be. They may just be there to upset you and distract you and create division. Uh, if we allow those divisions to happen, um, then then we will fail, right? Whatever you support, be as generous <clears throat> as you can while stating your opinion. Hmm. This is, this is the time to work very hard. And again, this could be just on yourself and politically, but this is not the time to sit around. We have to work together to make change happen. Right. Thanks so much for watching.